truth, service, humility, a hero. My dad was, was my hero. He didn't care about your stature, how much money you made, what kind of work you did. A lot of times people will tell you a story about when he would go to a restaurant and he'll meet a person for the first time. He say, how you doing? Who are your people and where you from? Because nine times out of 10, he knew someone from that city or that town. He was a good old country boy from Mount Gilead, North Carolina. Uh, and and my, my grandparents raised their kids to be very humble and respectful, but understand the uh, importance of education. When we had Black History Month, we did projects. A lot of times I did my projects on my grandfather. My teachers, you know, they were, they were, they were in my door let me do my project because they understand how he helped in the black community, how he helped change some of the stuff around. My father was an amazing man, and he was one of many. Now, I would say this much. I would say everyone that walks the planet that's, that's, that's living in America right now, some way or form, he affected their life with the cases that he argued, from affirmative action to school, to the house. One way or another, his arguments before the Supreme Court touched everyone, every living human being that's here now. I just wish he would have gotten his flowers while he was living, uh, to see how much people appreciate, appreciated his work and that his work didn't go in vain.